Good morning everybody and welcome. Welcome to Crafty Clegg's Journals. My name is Jeanette and today we are going to carry on with our um, Christmas journal, Christmas in July. Now, I did ask you last time what, um, what you think I should use for my numbers for my journal and most of you did say the doors and I have to say I'm glad you said that because I like the doors. I like the back of the doors. Um, that would be nice for... I was going to say for journaling, but I think I'm going to stick them down. Um, so, yes, I'm happy we've chose them. So, we've chose the doors, which I have yet to cut out and fussy cut and decide what to do with. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. Um, here is my journal. I shall put that to one side for now. And these are my two signatures. Excuse the massive blister on my hand. Um, I was doing some gardening yesterday and didn't realise I was hurting myself as I was doing it. So, there you go. Um, so I have chose these two papers. These are scrapbook pa papers out of one of my Stamperia pads. Um, and I've chose this one for the front one, for the first one, and this one for the second one. The first one is the same, front and back. And the second one is this beautiful day here. I would have preferred this one, if I'm honest. But unfortunately, it's the way the paper folds, so I haven't got much choice. Now, as you can see, they're way too big for what I need. So we're going to do some measuring. And then I'm going to flip through and I'm going to show you um, what I have got in each individual um, signature. Right, let's see what we want them cut at. Now, I've told you this before and I'll tell you again, I am no professional, so I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm going to cut them at five and a half inches wide, which these are at six. So I wonder if that'll go in my journal without having to cut anything off. No, will it, heck? What a shame. I would have liked to have kept something, but never mind. So we're going to have them just under five and a half. I think I'm going to cut that at. Yeah, I'm just going to cut that just under five and a half. And obviously the same with this. And then the height is um, eight and three quarters. So if I do eight and a half. So, if I do five and a half by eight and a half. Now, um, I will have to write that down because Jeanette has got a memory like a sieve. Um, just bear with me. So, eight and a half by five and a half. Right. We will have to cut most of them down, um, but not to worry. So, let me get my paper trimmer which is hidden under here. Get my paper trimmer out. I'm going to take all the signatures out. Now, this is the front cover of um, the doors that I'm using. But So I'm going to obviously have to cover this up. But that's not, that's not um, a bad thing. I don't mind covering up. So I'm going to keep it together because I have um, cut it in half. So both, I've rather folded in it out folded it in half so both corners meet exact so i know it's right and even if it's not i don't care um where's my bone folder my desk is a bit of a mess it's got all sorts on it which i like it like that to be fair until i can't find something let me just use this scrawny little bone folder that i've got and give that a really nice good sharp crease Right, so five and a half wide, five and a half inches wide. So I'm not really cutting that much off. I'm glad about that because I do like this. You see, what would I use that for? I mean, they say, and I say as well, don't ever throw scraps away. But what would I use that for? I suppose I could do a bit of a ruffle. I'm not going to throw it away. I'm going to put it in my bits my bits bucket, which I shall show you after. When I say my bits bucket, it's not my bits bucket. It's my massive bucket full of stuff. <laughs> and eight and a half long. Right, eight and a half long. I hope you're in shot. Are you in shot? Let me just have a look. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can see what I'm doing now. Do I want the top taken off or the bottom? 
Actually, I'm going to do it this way. Eight and a half. Don't throw this away. We can use this for tuck spots. Um, all sorts. Tuck spots. What else could we use that for? We could have it as a flipping. A um, or do they call it a flipping or a tucking? I can't remember. But we could bend it here and have it as... This, we'll, we'll see how we get on later. So that should be the right size. Let's have a look. Right, so it's the right height, but we just need to trim these off. And then the same with my second signature. Now, I'm going to cut off the top, obviously. So I need it eight and a half. Oh, no, I'm doing it the wrong way. Whoa, it's a good job I saw that then. Um, excuse the dog scratching in the background. Zach, stop it. Um, we have a tiny little Shih Tzu. Well, he's not tiny, actually. He's a beefy, beefy little dog. Um, eight and a half by five and a half. And he really isn't well at the moment. I am quite concerned about him, to be fair. Um, he's going to the vets on Tuesday. So, yeah, he's not been well for a while. He's got a um, kidney issue. Is it kidney? His kidneys are failing, they think. Um, but anyway, you don't want to know about depressing things while you're here, do you? This is supposed to be a cheerful channel. Right, so we'll pop that back in. So, hopefully now, we've trimmed them down. First, uh, first one, second one. And see if they'll fit in. Oh, yes. So, oops, that's caught on the fur. Will they fit in? I don't actually mind if they're a bit bit further over so what i'm going to do now you can see i've got my two signatures i'm going to flip through them with you and show you what i've got in them oh isn't that lovely so i do want them all to be equal obviously at the end um because i don't want i don't want all that sticking out of my journal i am very um relaxed when it comes to my journals but there's certain things that you don't want and i certainly don't want that hanging over like that so what I'm going to do is I'll flip through both of them. In fact, I only need to flip through one because I think I've more or less, more or less got the same in them both. So this is going to be the front cover of my um, first signature. Oh, get out of the way. Right. So we're going to have to do something with this, obviously, but I don't mind. We will just get another nice piece of paper. We'll cover this up. In fact, I'll cover all that up before I put the signature in my journal and we'll cover it up and we'll put maybe some pockets, some tuck spots here and there. Or maybe, um, I don't know, we'll have a tuck spot at the top. We'll, we'll do something with it. Um, this is just a plain paper that I have made like a fold. It was too big and I didn't really want to cut that off. So I folded it over. So I'll have to be um, extra cautious about that when I'm trimming it down. I might have to tuck that in even further. Then we've got this paper that has been dyed with Kool-Aid. Then this is one of the printables that I have no idea where it's from. Um, blank pages here. I don't mind blank tea stain pages, but I'm not having that stark white, so we'll have to do something with that. And that's the back of that. That's another um, printable. And again, I'll have to do something with that white paper. I don't like that like that. This is that handmade paper. You can actually see the little bit. Um, let me just see if I can zoom you in a little bit. Excuse me if there's lots of um, shadows. There's absolutely nothing I can do about it where I sit. Can you actually see? You can actually see here little bits of um, wood. I don't know what it is, but it looks really good. Anyway. Let me get you back again and move out the way so you can see. So, yeah, this is the handmade paper that was gifted to me. Then we've got another one of these lovely um, PDF files with the gorgeous, I call these roller boots or roller skates the other day. Of course, they're not roller skates. They're ice skates, what am I like, with the decorative bows and candy canes and bells. And then I just love this little bit of music here. Um. And again, it's white on the back, so we'll have to do something with that. I've put the paper doily in. Does that not just fit perfect? I'm really pleased about that. Then with another tea stained. And then after I've decided to use these doors, which 
I absolutely love, by the way. Well, I didn't decide. You helped me decide. I was rummaging through all my um, PDFs and seeing what I'd printed off because I've got loads of stuff printed off that I've not got round to using. And I remember buying these doors last year um, in a, I think it was from Patresca Papers. I'm not really sure. If I can find the link, I'll leave it down below for you. She does have a YouTube channel and an Etsy shop and I'll leave it down below for you. And I bought these last year, so I'm going to use them in the um, journal. Um, but again, they're white, so I'm going to back it with this red fab um, fabric, this red printable which I think come with this kit. And then on the other side is another door. So I don't know what we're going to do with them, but we'll find something to do. Um, and then we go, the other side is just, is the same really. We've got tea stained, the other half of the paper doily, and we have the other half of that um, print with the skates on, I think, yeah. And then we've got poinsettia, bingo, uh, more music, then we've got that um, hand -dyed, handmade paper and we've got the polka dot, more tea stained, oh gosh, look at the difference in that, see I really can cope with that because I've put some nice stenciling on there, maybe put a little tuck spot in or a belly band but I cannot cope with that, that is too white so we'll have to cover this up. And that's the other end, the other side of it with a little tiny poinsettia there. This is the um, Kool-Aid dyed paper. And then we've got the other half of the, I don't know where that come from, but I know it's really old paper. And then that is the back. So this signature is very much the same as that one. It's got all the same things in, just slightly different. Um, like this one has got, um, green polka dot and another door but that one's got um, the snowflakes and I think that's printed on all four sides so yeah I don't know which one one I'm going to do whether I'm going to do the white and the green or the green and the red I quite like that white one there's a lot we could do with that anyway so yeah these are all the same apart from different coloured doors um, and different coloured polka dots. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go off camera um, because you don't want to see me cutting each individual page. I'm going to go off camera and then I shall come back and show you the signatures all ready. OK, everybody, as you can see, the signatures have been trimmed down. Um, I've got all this rubbish here. This is no good. Well, I don't think it is. There's some bigger pieces here that I'm going to keep um because you never know what you might need them for yeah anything that's you know pretty reasonably sized keep them don't ever throw anything away um right so we're all trimmed down to size now i think it will all fit nicely inside will it fit in the journal bear with me hmm do you know i don't know if oh yes it will Yes, it'll fit nicely inside there. So we've got the two signatures and the cover all done. Um, now, what I want to do with the signatures, um, I can put the cover to one side now because I need to work on the signatures. I want to do all what I need to do to the signatures before I actually sew them in to the journal because um, I want to do some sewing. I want to have, add some... Um, ribbons. Um, I I don't know. I might have add some pom poms on a the page. There's a few different things that I want to do that I'll that make it very easy to to be to do them before you sew them in. So probably the next few videos we do now are going to just be working on the signatures. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do um, with both the signatures is get my doors. So my door, the green door is in my first one. I'll do one at a time, I think, because I'll forget. So what I've done now, I have cut them both down to size. Oh, I don't like that white there. Let me just cut that down because I don't like that. Let me get my paper trimmer out again. I thought I'd cut it all, all down to size, but evidently I haven't. 
And like I say, I am not one for measuring anything. I never, ever measure anything. I wonder if I should stick it on for... No, I won't. I'll trim it down first. I was going to say maybe. Um, yeah, I've never, ever been one for measuring. Ever since I started doing my junk journal, I just like to... Um, I just like to do it as I enjoy it. I'm not one for measuring. It seems all too perfect sometimes if you measure. Right, so what I'm going to do is, you know I don't like the white, so I'm going to stick this onto here. Um, and I'm going to use, what shall I use? I am going to use my Fabri-Tac for this, I think. Um, yeah. And I might even sew round it. I might put pockets in these. I don't know what to do. Oh, look at the state of that. That's a bit of a mess. Oh, this is this is the trouble with me, you see. I forget to put my tops on all the time. And yeah, it gets all gunked up and messy. Sorry about this. You shouldn't have to watch this, should you? Um, if anybody is making a journal with me, is journaling along with me, um, and you're making a Christmas journal uh, with me in July, will you please let me know down below? I'd love to know um, if anybody is taking part um, and that you're enjoying it as much as I am. Hold on one second. Right. We've got enough in here. Right, so I'm just going to get some fabric tack on here. Can you just bear with me a second while I go and answer my front door? Won't be a second. Sorry about that, everybody. That was my husband coming back off his walk. Right, so... I'll get this, put it in the fold. Make sure it is in the right place. If it's not, we'll trim it. So just squish it out with your bone folder like this. And then that'll spread all the glue around. As you can see, I am a messy, messy crafter. And you can see here, there's a little bit. So I'll just get my scissors. This is how laxy daisy I am when it comes to me crafting. I really, really don't mind things when they're not perfect because I think that's what junk journals should be like. I'll just trim that there. Actually, no, I don't think I'm going to sew around this because thinking about it, you're not going to have stitching round a front door, are you? Then just get your bone folder and help it to crease over a little bit more like that. Fold it down. See how it's warped. But never mind. Again, I don't care. Because what I'll do, I'll just get anything can be put right. My trimmer. Oh, and I'll remember to put that back on there. You see? And I'll just get it and line it up with my wire on my trimmer. And it'll all be nice and straight and nobody will know any different <laughs> and that's how I do my crafting look at that I mean it's a bit odd it's a bit of an odd shape but do you know I really don't mind now that'll need to dry a little bit but what I can do whilst it's drying I can actually just distress it now I like to use where's all my inks you can't see this one because it's that old, but this is Vintage Photo and this is by Tim Oltz and it's a distressed oxide. Um, and I have my little brush, which again is all dirty. And I'm just going to go around the edges 
and give it a bit of a distress. And then if there's any white bits, it'll cover them up. Just like that. All up the spine. And then round the other side. Oh, I've just realised something. But no, again, I don't mind because I'll put something on it. You see this here? The hinges. The door should open this way. And guess what? It's opening this way. See what I mean? But we'll do something with that. It is not a problem. We'll cover them hinges up. I've got something that'll cover them up, I think. I'll show it to you before I go. There you go. Nice and distressed. Now, let me show you what I have got that might cover up. So that opens that way. I have got, let me see how I undo it, this leaf garland. Well, it's Christmas and why can we not have some garland on the door, she says. But where, how have they stuck it in? I can't get it off. <laughs> hmm, that's a bad one. Oh, there we go. See, so we could put... Oh, this is difficult to get off. We could actually put a little bit of the leaf garland going up here like this. I mean, it doesn't completely cover it up, but it doesn't matter, does it? Look at that now. Could put that on there and you'd, it'd distract from the hinges being on the wrong side. Oh no, I can't do that, can I? Looks a bit odd. Anyway, never mind. We'll find something. We'll find something. Anyway, I'm going to go now because my husband has just got back from his walk and we have got stuff that we need to do. But I'm going to let that dry. Um, and then that can go in that signature next time I come back. Um, I hope you're all having a lovely crafty week and I shall see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.